Hi, welcome to another session of Engineering Drawing. In last session, we have discussed about the projection of points and first angle projection method. In this session, we are going to learn about the projection of lines. As we know, the line can be defined as the shortest distance between two points. So, if you have the proper knowledge of projection of points, then it is very easy to understand about the projection of lines. Let us go through the examples. Before going to examples, let us check what are the contents that we are going to cover in this session. In all the examples, we follow the first angle projection method. That means the line lies at the first quadrant only. The position of the lines are line parallel to both the reference plane. The line perpendicular to one of the reference plane. Line inclined to HP and parallel to VP. Line inclined to VP and parallel to HP. Let us take the first example. A line AB 50 mm long is parallel to both HP and VP. Point A is 20 mm above HP and 40 mm in front of VP. Draw the projections. Here we can see the first quadrant with vertical plane VP and horizontal plane HP. Let us check the pictorial view and position of the line AB. The line is somewhere here and it is 40 mm in front of VP and 20 mm above HP and we can find the front view here on VP and top view can be here on HP and complete the projection lines or projector lines. Once we get the projection then we can turn the HP 90 degree through clockwise. This is the pictorial view and you don't want to draw the pictorial view in your answer. For the projections we have to draw the XY line first then as the line is 20 mm above HP we can draw a perpendicular line with 20 mm and also we can draw the 50 mm long line. So it can be called as front view. Then for the top view as the line is below 40 mm, we can draw a perpendicular line here with 40 mm and draw the top view of the line AB. So the projections are completed. Then we can do the dimensioning. Here 20 mm, then here 40 mm and it is 50 mm. Then name the front view as A dash and B dash. For the top view, as you know, we have to give simply the small letter A is here and B is here. This is our answer. So you have to draw the XY line, front view and top view only. The pictorial view you don't want to draw in your answer. This is only for reference. We can go to the second example. Here the question is a line PQ 50 mm long is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. The end P is 25 mm in front of VP and 10 mm above HP. Draw the projections. As we have practiced, let me go a little bit faster. I hope you will follow me. Here we can mark the 10 mm above HP and 25 mm in front of VP. So the one end of the line P is here and as the line is perpendicular to HP we can draw the line here and for front view the projector line then we can have the projection here. For the top view draw the projector line. In this example, the top view is a 
point. Let us draw the orthographic projection. Draw the XY line first, then 10 mm vertical line above the HP and 25 mm below the HP as projector lines. Then the front view is here, it is 50 mm long and here the dimensioning and here the dimension is 10 mm and here it is 25 mm. So this is the answer for the question. Then we can mark P dash Q dash as front view and P Q as top view. Let us go to the third question. A line PQ 30 mm long is perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP. The end Q is 10 mm in front of VP and 20 mm above HP. Draw the projections. Here as one end of the line is 20 mm above HP, draw the 20 mm line vertically upwards from XY line and 10 mm in front of VP. So we can have the, the point Q lies here and draw the line with 30 mm long. In this question, the front view is shown as a point here. That means P dash and Q dash. Then for top view, projector line are drawn here and we can have the top view like this. Then let us go to the answer with the orthographic projection. Draw the XY line as it is 20 mm above HP. Draw a vertical line above HP with the 20 mm long then draw the 10 mm below is shown with the projector line like this then the top view is here with 30 mm long we can do the dimensioning and name the front view as p dash q dash and for top view it is p and q Let us go to the fourth question. Draw the projections of a line AB 100 mm long inclined at 40 degree to HP parallel to VP and 10 mm in front of VP. First we can mark here 10 mm in front of VP and mark here as A. As the line is 40 degree inclined to HP we can draw a reference line and draw the AB with 40 degree inclined to HP and 100 mm long. To get the front view draw the projector to VP then we can have the front view like this and to get the top view draw projector to HP it will intersect here then we can have projection of top view like this. This pictorial view you don't want to draw as your answer. To get the projection draw XY line take a convenient point and draw the line AB with 40 degree inclined at XY line and 100 millimeter long. Then for the top view, draw the projector with 10 mm long vertically downwards and draw the top view of line AB and mark A dash B dash as front view and A B as top view. Then all the dimensioning have to be done. 100 millimeter, 10 millimeter, and 40 degree. Let us go to the example number 5. Line 
m n having 60 mm long is inclined at 30 degree to v p and parallel to h p the end m is 16 mm in front of v p and 20 mm above h p draw the projections as it is 16 mm in front of v p and 20 mm above h p the end m lies at here to get 30 degree inclination with v p draw a reference line parallel to v p and draw the line with 60 mm long and 30 degree inclined to v p for front view draw the projector line and it will intersect at v p then have the front view and draw the projector to h p for top view then turn h p 90 once we get the projection turn h p 90 degree through clockwise let us go to the solution for our problem draw the x y line first in this question we have to draw the top view first because we don't know the actual length of the front view but it can easily get from the top view as the point m is 16 mm in front of vp draw a vertical line to downwards from xy line with the 30 degree inclination and 60 mm long then complete the projector lines and to get the front view draw projector line with 20 mm vertically upwards and draw the front view of line a b then mark all the dimensions 60 mm 20 mm and 16 mm and also here the angle is 30 degree and give the name m dash n dash as front view and m n as top view let us go to the sixth question the line pq is inclined at 30 degree to vp and parallel to hp elevation length of the line is 60 mm the end p is 20 mm in front of vp and 25 mm above hp draw the projections of the line and also find the actual length of the line pq in this question the position of the line is same as previous question so we can use the same pictorial view you can see this is a different question from previous questions here the actual length of the line is not given but it says the elevation length is 60 mm so first we have to draw the projection of the line and we have to find the actual length also in this pictorial view this is the elevation or front view from the question we know the length is 60 mm but actual length is this one with pq let us draw the projection first we can draw the x y line then projector line for top view with 20 mm downwards then the projector for front view that is 25 mm above x y then draw the front view with the length of 60 mm to get the top view we can draw a line as we don't know the length of the line draw a long line with 30 degree then draw a vertical line downwards from the front view of the line and it will intersect at the top view of the line then we can erase the extra length of the lines and make all the dimensions with 60 mm 25 mm 20 mm and measure the top view of the line that means the actual length of the line and name the line with p dash and q dash for front view and p q for top view and you have to write the actual length of the line as 
69 mm so guys this is all for this session if you are not subscribe this channel please subscribe and share if you like this channel please click the like button also thank you